What is going on, everybody? The original Mako back with some more Gunfire Reborn content, and I am so excited about this one. Um, I'm going to do... There's going to be a lot of videos coming out in the next week and a half. Uh, one video each day, and it's going to be me doing one of the most insane challenges I've ever done in Gunfire. Essentially, what I did was I started a brand new, fresh file, and I had to beat every difficulty in a row without losing and had to use each character at least once. So what I decided to do for the YouTube version of this is on my winning run, I'm gonna give you guys each difficulty as its own video. So we'll be starting with normal video, or the normal difficulty going all the way up to Reincarnation 9, and you guys will be able to see each step of the way, what my thought process was, the strategy, all that kind of stuff. This was an insane challenge. I had so much fun doing it. Um, I'm gonna keep this same intro for each video, so that's why it's gonna be a repetitive intro, so if you've seen this before, just skip on ahead. But if you want to see me do more challenges, more viewer ideas, every Monday we're going to start doing viewer builds on Gunfire, uh, playing some other games, some variety stuff on Wednesdays and Fridays for Freaky Friday, then come check out the stream. I would really appreciate it. The link is down below. We have a ton of fun over there. It's an insanely awesome community, and I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. There's tons of content coming your way, not just with this series, this challenge series, but in the future as well. So I'd really appreciate it. Sorry for the longer intro. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully you enjoy this challenge and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's think. Let's think. Let's try to use our big, juicy, fat brain here. Yeah, but gluttony's annoying is the problem. Well... We usually do the owl for R2. We've been doing the owl, and in fact, I have never lost this challenge in Reincarnation 2 with the owl. The owl runs always go so well. The <sighs> Which makes me want to save the owl for a little later, perhaps. And do something like the dog. Because last ra last time we did this challenge, the farthest we were on like reincarnation 5 or 4 when we did the dog, I think. And we lost on the atomic bomb run. Because atomic bomb is very hit or miss. So would we rather get that out of the way early? Well, but see, the thing is, if it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hit in R2 or it doesn't hit in R6. If Atomic Bomb doesn't hit, we're screwed. So I feel like we can still save the dog for later. The owl is just so consistent. Could do the bird's leap build, but unless we can get the tier four, I don't know if it's worth it. We can. Emergency defense would be insane to have, though. That makes the leap build so much better. Um, what's up, Karma? Welcome in. Hopefully you're having a good day. Good to see you. Uh, we have to start a fresh file, beat every difficulty in a row without losing, and we have to use each character once. So some, I think two characters will get used twice, but we have to use every character at least once. What characters are available? Everything except for, um, the turtle slash hedgehog and the tiger, I think are the only two I can't do right now. Because the tiger... Actually, we might have just unlocked the tiger. So it might just be the turtle, because I have to buy the turtle. So we could do tiger, actually, which is my least favorite character. I think. Nope. Oh, 55. So we can, un we can unlock the tiger pretty easily, though. Um, we do, like...
Okay, we now have the tiger. Okay, I'm going to have to exit. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do the tiger. I think I am going to do the tiger. As early as possible, which is right now. Uh, so I'm going to confirm this. Tiger unlocked. We're going to go in, leave, and then look at the tiger's tree real quick. Problem it, I guess it's not a problem, but all right. Tiger's tree. What do we have on the right? Okay, none of those are that essential. Where I feel like I need these. Um, the tier five would be nice, but we're not getting tier five. So, I think we'll use the rest of our. Soul essence on getting more. I feel like we just put some money into Breacher because we're going to be using a sniper or explosive weapon, most likely. We also just unlocked tier 60, which is nice. Oh, uh, yep, that's an instant take. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Can I finesse this? Hold on. If I do, what is, like, the cheapest thing? 50, 50, 35. And I still have enough to get over consumption first. Okay, we got it. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna take Thorny. I'm just gonna take Thorny for all of them because I started this challenge before the season one scrolls existed, so I don't really even want to use them. So that's why I'm not upgrading them or anything. Um, and I, I am forced to take one, so I think I'm just gonna take Thorny for all of them to make it even and like across the board. Um. Cat and Fox for 7 and 8. So, yeah. Once we get to Reincarnation 7, I think the Fox, Cat, and Panda run to end, I think it would be almost impossible to lose any of those runs. So, if we can get to R7, I think we got this. But, we'll see. Um, Cavalry, I think, is actually just a little bit better to start. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of things that I forgot are even like part of the talent tree and not just by default. When I started doing this challenge, I, I was taken back to my glory days before I had everything unlocked. Okay, Shrieker's a great start. The Shrieker is a great weapon on the Tiger. Great weapon. Uh, voltage Surge. Yeah, I think counter's 50. That sounds right. Uh, don't remember 100%, but that sounds right. Although, if we can just keep the Shrieker, the only explosive that does crit... Might not need to worry about counter violence at all. But, oops. But I don't know if a Shrieker from stage one is going to carry us far enough. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of the Tiger in general, so. I don't know. Counter violence is 120. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well. I mean, obviously that is expensive, but like, it's kind of a ridiculous one, so I guess that makes sense. I guess. I guess. Phantom skin is nice. Refresh addict is fine. Ooh, we get all the elemental scrolls too, this run. That's huge. 
Elemental Relic and Convergence, both very good. Yeah, I mean, an extra refresh option is never bad, but when we already have minimal refresh options to begin with, because where we're at, or like minimal peddler options, it's like, yeah, it's okay though, it's not, not bad. Elemental, yes, give me all the elemental shit. Uh, I think lightning, and I will take lightning enthusiast. I think I will for sure. Yeah, this is... Uh, Reincarnation 2 is usually a lot of unlocks. Usually, though, we get... Um, uh, usually, Deadly Curse would be R2. But we killed just enough enemies in R1 to get Deadly Curse out of the way. Now we just have to hope it doesn't pop up randomly when I don't need it to. Because that would be unfortunate for us. Magical supply goes crazy, goes crazy. Unlucky that we hit the immortal right there. Holy shit. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Damn it. Nice. Yeah, uh, it is Jade, but that's not that's not like just for this challenge. That's like a channel rule for me. Ever since the very beginning of this game, um, every time <clears throat> every time I see Deadly Curse, I have to take it. Does not matter the situation. Does not matter what's going on. Just have to do it. Um, these are both really good. I'm going to take Thunder Nemesis, though. If I see Enhanced Deadly Curse, I cry if I don't have Flesh and Bones. Yeah. Yeah. Deadly Curse is a crazy one. Sometimes it pops up, and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. And sometimes it pops up, and it ruins a run, but I have to take it. Them's my rules. Uh, I'll check if it's the dragon. Nope. See you later. <laughs> Ooh, now Paranormality. We will be taking that, I believe. Um, I don't know. The challenge command is working sometimes. It's not working other times, but um, is sad. Our challenge right now is uh, we started with a fresh file, and we have to beat every difficulty in a row without losing, and we have to use every character at least once. That's the current challenge. Um, now, yes, now that we have Paranormality, we would have loved to have Deadly Curse. So hopefully it does pop up now. Also, I am down for special ammo. Uh, hate that we keep getting the Campfire Vaults. Hate it. We have, I'm not going to lie, we have a really, really good set of synergies going on right now. We've got Magical Supply, um, plus Thunder Nemesis, which is going crazy, plus a Crit Launcher, uh, plus some really, really good elemental stuff. We've gotten Special Ammo, Phantom Skin, plus Deadly, or plus Paranormality. A lot of really, really good things so far.
I like the start. I like the start. But it's not about how you start. It's about where you finish. I prefer either the face or inside, but that's just me. Uh, anyways, let's get back on track. Uh, that's a nice looking pecker, but I don't think it's going to beat out the shrieker. Yeah, campfire vaults for me are almost always not it. I only do the dragon one. All the other campfire vaults piss me off and make me angry, so I just don't even do them anymore, regardless. <laughs> so. Does normal damage apply to non-elemental skill damage? Normal damage to non-elemental skill damage? No. No, it does not. Um, I believe... Ooh. <laughs> oh, I really like the thunderstorm and it's not, it's not great inscriptions actually. Uh, it's not bad. Oh, well, actually we are doing decay pretty consistently. So that is pretty good. And I love the thunderstorm, but the shrieker I think is better for us right now. I also don't, I'm not going to take on the house. I don't think it's worth with how little options we have. Um, the reason being is I think the Shrieker is going to do more damage on the first, like, just on its initial hit, which is going to proc Magical Supply more, which is going to proc Thunder Nemesis more. I think because of the Ascensions we've gotten, I think the Shrieker is a better play than the Thunderstorm. I could take the Thunderstorm as a backup. Probably should have. It's too late now. The Thunderstorm's disgusting. Yeah, I should have I should have put it as my backup weapon for sure, Karma. That would have been the right thing to do, but too late now. Hopefully we can find another one. I will say if we find a if we find a thunderstorm that has um, the penetration exclusive, then we are gonna take it and we're gonna use it. Okay. Wish it would have been done a little more than that. You know, the only skills off normal damage is monkey with its primary skill, or maybe even turtle shield bash. Yeah, the monkey does for sure. I don't play the turtle enough to know that though. Did that gun have a glow up? Which one? The the uh, thunderstorm? Yes, the new thunderstorm is very good. Target acquisition plus penetration roll? Yeah, yeah. That's the best exclusive on it, for sure. And it is gross. I don't think we want that. Um, if we were going to take counter violence, that would be an option, but... If we're not going to take counter violence, which I'm not planning on right now, I don't think there's any need. Um... Uh, not picking up the jade? No, because when I originally started this challenge, the season one scrolls didn't exist. So I would prefer to do this challenge without those, but it forces you to pick one. So I'm just going to pick Thorny for each run and never upgrade it. I think that's the best way to do that. Um, oh, somebody suck me bone dry i <laughs> i'm debating on taking something like gradual improvement or or counter violence here because even though we can crit counter violence is still really good but i'm trying to figure out if it's worth taking because we will have like no soul essence if we do that i don't think i can do it right now Hey, yo, Scion. I think I forgot to say hi. I did see your first message, though. Welcome, man. Hope you're having a good day. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, the console version... Console version of Gunfire is fucking a joke. They don't update it ever anymore. Yeah, 
Yeah, I might grab counter counterviolence on Act Three. The thing is, normally I would like to take it before this stage because, in my opinion, the the desert is just the hardest stage in the game. You don't really have your whole build going. It has some of the most difficult enemies. Um, Get, get out of the way. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I think it's the hardest stage in the game. So it's nice to have as much as you can going into the desert. Say it for me. Say it for me. Offering my services to get you bone dry, huh? <laughs> What's up, Scion? I mean, I mean, shit, if you're offering, like, hell yeah. And yes, fuck the tiger. But hopefully we can get him out of the way now. Getting him out for uh, during Reincarnation 2 would be nice. Whoa! Ran right into that. Oh, cloning arsonist? Damn, we had an elite invasion, which is the elite arsonist. Worst elite. Then we get a cloning robust normal arsonist. Thank God the Shrieker's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, just face fuck the boulder. Fun fact, guys, those boulders were modeled after my actual testicles. That's why they're so massive in-game, you know? Because that's what they use as a model, something that was massive. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, let's see what we get here. Shit. We've had pretty good luck on Ascension so far. Shadow Knight's not bad, but it's also not great. Big and they have glowing cracks. Uh-huh. Yeah. My testicles hold magic power. Fun fact. Ooh. This... Oh, wait. No, this is fine. Damn. Damn. Damn! Can we get a lucky shot plus a crit? Thank you. Holy. We were doing negative damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing about this stream, we are family friendly here. Um, anytime we're not family friendly, it's always because of chat. It's not my fault. I can't control what you guys do in chat. I'm family friendly, but... You know, can't control you guys... Lightning shard. What I lose for size, I make up in quantity. Huh? <laughs> How many balls you got? How many balls you got? Start sharding all over the place. Huh? <laughs> uh, we might want to reword that one. We might wanna we might wanna reword that one. That one's a bit uh a bit sketchy there. I'm not liking how little damage we're doing when we don't have our E up. It's getting close to a concerning point. Two pieces. This is my last resort. I have, I've, um, I've had, I have two versions of this song on this playlist. And I've had two versions of this song on the playlist for maybe three months now. And I still don't know which one I like better. I love the original by Papa Roach. And his, na his name is Papa fucking Roach. Um, but the remix by Jairus Johnson is also really fucking good. I can turn this shit up.
Yeah, counter-violence might be a play. I don't know, man. Too many decisions to make. Where are you? Worm, worm. There he is. Nice. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, are we going to spawn in or... All right. That's really good. The more ease, the better. That was hilarious. Look, I mean, technically saying sharding all over the place isn't wrong. We do have a lot of shards going on, but like, let's get our mind out of the gutter. Let's get our mind out of the gutter, guys. <laughs> Didn't even know someone made a remix. I'll queue up the remix after this. Fuck it. You want to hear it? I'll let, you, I'll let you guys hear the remix. So you guys can decide. Oh. You guys can help me decide which one's better. I I my my initial gut is telling me the original is better. But the remix is pretty good. My last elite uh discovered on PC was arsonist. Fuck the elite arsonist so much. The Elite Arsonist is so annoying. OG, everybody's very confident. I'm not confident. Like, I like the original a lot, and I think that was that would be what I would go with, but the one that's going to play after this, I think is a really good remix of it. Anyway, also, I didn't really look for a vault there, did I? Uh, I might have seen one and not even done it. Uh, whoops. That's okay. What What is happening? My W key wasn't working for a second. How the rest of R1 go? R1 was good. Pretty smooth after our first death. Yeah, we'll just say it was a campfire vault. <laughs> yeah. True, bro. True. Those guys are a problem. Yeah, yeah. If you're on the same map, he's going to hit you with his fucking cannon that launches 85 miles. It's a dumb... And, and let's... Oh, oh. Don't make me rant about him. I will. Not only does he hit you from such a long range, but when he hits you, if you don't have an immunity to slow, you get slowed down, so then it's even harder to get out of his range, and then you're in an endless cycle of fuckery, where your asshole gets spread farther and farther apart, and his fucking gun goes deeper and deeper inside you. Anyway. That's another thunderstorm. Oh... Well, I think I learned from earlier we pocket this, but <laughs> if we do this, we kind of have to get rid of special ammo. Crit, lucky shot, extra crit after reload. It's also encouraging you to reload every time you kill an enemy. Oh... 
All right, I'm going to take it. Oh, I cannot buy ammo for it. Um. Hmm. Okay, we'll have enough to at least test it in this next room. We'll give it a try. We'll see how it feels, how it looks. Uh, after this room, if we're at least, like, half chubbed, we'll probably use it. Oh, that's not a good one. I need another enemy. Oh! 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 We're just not... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In general, I absolutely think it's a better weapon. We're just not going to be proccing magical supply as often. Which means less Thunder Nemesis. But, is, but we also are going to be getting a lot more Miasma. I'm like a quarter chubbed right now. But we're not done with the room. We'll see. <sighs> I'm real close to 50 on the chub meter. Real close to 50 on the chub meter. Um I I think it's going to be better overall. I do. I do. I think this is the right call. I think you guys are right. I think we keep it. New World? New World's out of left field, Scion. Talking about the MMO New World, or...? I played New World. It was fun when it first came out for a little bit, and then it just stopped being fun. I wasn't a huge fan of the end game, which is kind of the whole point of those games, right? So, was not a big fan. Ooh. <laughs> no, we have to take Silver Medal. With Paranormality, Silver Metal makes a fuckload of sense. Whereas Curiosity Box, I guarantee you, wants nothing more than to just wiggle its way inside me and spread me like a fucking eagle. Um... Yes, 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 yep, yep, uh, we went from 50% on the chub meter to at least an 80 or a 90. That is Ancient Timer, we love Ancient Timer. More ease, the better. Also, this song is so loud for some reason. <laughs> That's a pretty good shrieker. Oh well, too late now. Yeah, he's going to tank a little bit. It's all right.
Damn it. I feel like in our, like, difficulties before R9, the worm go down goes down so much. Like a fucking newly married couple or something. Okay, that took a long time. Don't love that, but it's okay. We'll get there. Um, also, guaranteed to be the wind god next run. Good to kind of have in mind. Better than wind god until R9. True, true. R9 worm is a fucking menace. And no, Cyan, I'm not quite at full mast yet. We're at like 80% on the chub meter. Um... What's up, Recon? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, no. I don't really do multiplayer at all. Um, could come back in the future where I play with viewers, but, um, yeah, don't do a lot of multiplayer stuff. But hopefully you're having a great day. Good to see you. Goes down too much and makes the fight take longer than it should. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Um, Thunder Turbo is probably the play. And do we go ahead and take, get our E back. Thunder and Glory. There it is. Oh, Thunder and Glory is also super tempting. They're playing around the time season one dropped. Yeah, I'm hoping they, uh, I'm hoping they, they beef up the seasons going forward. I think they will, but I wouldn't, um... I don't know. I I don't trust the gunfire devs. Oh! Do we want this or counter violence? Ah, fuck it. This one showed up first. I'll let fate take the wheel here. We should have our E. I was going to say, it should be pretty much like we should never have a cooldown. Um, I think is how it should be. So, obviously kind of huge. Oh, try yeah, trying PC since Season 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, it's a really, really low cooldown when it does cooldown. Thank you. Hello? God, can we do more damage than that? Jesus, man. Started playing around Fox and Monkey release. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been... Been here since there was only the cat and the dog. Crazy times. <laughs> Hopefully the food was good, Brew. Hopefully the food was good. And yeah, the cooldown is so fast. Great song. I'm going to turn this one up. Favorite band at the moment. Oh, hell yeah, Scion. I don't want to... I don't want to toot my own horn. But, um... I was a state champion in sparring in Taekwondo. 
Um, I still have the state championship jacket, actually, when I was younger. I did that for probably like six or six, six ish years. That is so unlucky. That's really good, but is it worth a hundred soul essence? Nah, it's not. It's not. All I know right now is Rainbow can have some good inscriptions for speedrunners. It just makes the shooting part a little less tedious. Yeah, I, it definitely has uses. It just, uh, the damage falls off too fast for my liking as a weapon. And I don't do speedrunning anymore, so. Yeah. U.S. Olympic coach, there's an Olympic medalist in his class. That's sick, Sion. Hopefully he likes it. Hopefully it goes well. Um, that's really cool, though. Welcome back, Beef. It's funny, Beef. You said back. You We were just talking about the best places to fucking finish. And you said back. Glad to know your opinion on the matter. Thanks for chiming in. So Beef's more of a toaster strudel guy. Not a... Um, Cream filled donut guy. Good to know. Ooh. With how late in the game we are, I think that's going to be fine. Should be worth. Ooh, oh, yowzers! That's a couple of good options, but Snow Boots is always the correct choice. One of the best defensive scrolls in the game. Preventing a drop in movement speed is good. Very good, always. Huh? Oh. Finish up on the musket you're making. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Good call. Good call on the goblet. Good comms, chat. Good fucking comms. Uh, that's really cool, bro. How long you been working on it? What belt did I get to? Third degree black belt, I think, Scion? I think third degree, if I remember correctly. Yeah, snow boots would have been nice before the desert. Yeah, beef. <laughs> Piano man played while you were gone. And I said, if Beef was here, I would skip this song. But since you weren't here, I let it play. <laughs> Out of spite. <laughs> uh. Can find happiness in misery. For like a year, I keep messing up on the barrel. Damn, that's a long ass time. That's really cool, though. That's a cool little side project. It's always fun to see something come to fruition after that long of dedication, you know? So, yeah, hopefully you're able to finish it. Everybody loves finishing. Everybody loves it. I know I do. Schrodinger's Piano Man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> True and real. If Beef wasn't here to hear Piano Man, did it ever actually play? I don't know. I don't know. That's a beefy shark. I hate that. Miasma goes crazy there. Miasma is the most broken thing in the game. Oh. Hmm. 
What? Did that shark die? What the fuck? That was weird. That lightning ball went through him. So I'm trying to add a double bayonet to it. Any particular reason you're making it, or just is this just like a hobby, brew? Like, is there like going to a medieval fair festival or something, or just for fun? Also, help me. Excavation Art Command always seems to find its way in. Yeah. Except when I play multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Project. I also on, a, on another unregistered firearm. It's a cool project. It's a cool project. Ooh. Oh. Fuck. Those are both so tempting. I can take Thunder Nemesis too. With how often we're popping our E, I think Thunder Nemesis 2 is worth. Why are you so tanky? Hello? Don't care about the sting. Damn, this thing is under leveled. Yeah, we do have Shadow Knight. I should be trying to stay away. It just, uh, Shadow Knight's such a, I don't like taking Shadow Knight because I don't like playing from super far back, but I should be trying to. Another Shrieker, we'll look at that later. What do we got? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, not a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan of it. It's all right. Ooh, thank God for magical supply going crazy there. Um, I think it's worth. Um. Hopefully, they might add a new stage at some point, Karma. I don't know. They got a lot of stuff going on this year. We'll see. I just have a new stage with two new bosses. It would be nice. A sixth stage would be cool. Or a fifth, not a sixth. Maybe we need to have a new stage one. So two different starting areas. Two different starting areas that are RNG. That'd be interesting. What if they just had two fully different RNG areas? What's up, Penguino? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Like how Risk of Rain does it? Yeah, Risk of Rain does a pretty good job with that. Oh, I thought, kind of thought we were done with this room. Forgot there'd be another spawn.
A hell stage would be pretty cool. Let me RR too, but after like two runs, my eyes are gone. Fair. Um. You know what? Uh, I'm going to get rid of refresh. I think that's the least necessary. We are going to get Stormblast 3. I don't think we need refresh. Oh, we just heard this. Let's skip that. Could have done explosive <clears throat> too. Explosive wouldn't have been a bad option. A bleeding shark is scary as hell. I think the one we have is a little bit better still. We're going to keep the one we have. So I, I'm caught up now, Scion. I'm caught up. I'm caught up. And yeah. Solo leveling's crazy. Really, really good so far. Like it a lot. The cliffhanger on the last episode was nuts. Can't wait for next week. Yeah, this song's great. Green Day has a lot of bangers. And I know bangers. What was this? The ship? Yeah. It's good with the thunderstorm, I guess. Still, don't, still not a huge fan of the ship, but what are you going to do? Verbally said fuck at the end. Yeah, it was a hell of a cliffhanger. They've had some insane cliffhangers so far. Was your released first two episodes in an hour special? Yeah. I mean, I still think it. Uh, it's still... I still think the first couple episodes were pretty damn gripping. I mean, that shit was grippy. I wasn't getting pulled out, that's for sure. No shot I was pulling out. So, I thought it was interesting enough to... Grip. Oh. Oh. Slow and steady wins the race here. Hey, this is a family-friendly stream. Once again, the only reason it's ever not family-friendly is chat. It's chat's fault. Is that not half? Oh. Okay, you. I mean, you gotta be close. Holy shit. God damn. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. What? Okay, that got really loud. Hell? He just evaporated. God. Oh, this this song. Good memories. Some good memories.
Let's go. Yeah, that's true, Penguino. That is true. That is very true. I thought that I got. I'd have to think about some other first first episodes I've seen in the past year. But I think I don't know. I think Solo Leveling's is pretty. I was pretty. The statue. I fucking loved the statues. Loved the statues. Loved that shit. If the family in question are all over the age of 18, then yes, family friendly for sure. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, a lot of people are super hyped about the show because the manga was good. It's sad the years stopped coming. True. True. Went to... Still, last year, had a... At my... My city does a festival every year. Somehow they got Smash Mouth to come play a free concert at the festival. Every time one of their songs comes on, that was a good night. Double fisting some brews with the boys with a free front row. We were right in the front row to the Smash Mouth concert. It was so fun. I tell you what, if you ever see Smash Mouth live, watch the fucking guy on the keyboards. I've never seen somebody so into so into it. He had to be like off the molly or something, because he was jamming. It was crazy. It was fun. It was good. <laughs> Weird change of vibes. We're going to skip that one. I haven't heard this song in a while. I'll let this one ride. Uh, damn. 404? I don't think it's worth that. Well, we are reloading a lot, though. Maybe. Well, actually, Penguino. Actually, at the time we saw them, they... they I think, like, two years ago, maybe three years ago, they replaced... Steve as the lead singer because he had the issues where he was like, if the crowd would boo him or heckle him, he would, uh, start throwing shit at him. So they were like, yeah, we need to move on. And they hired a, they had a new lead singer and he was there when we saw the concert and he was actually really good. He sounded similar, but had his own style. And I think he did a really good job with the songs. So, um, I'm assuming they're probably still doing concerts and stuff with just with the new guy. I think this might be the only song I know by Grandson. Uh, I might know one more. I feel like I might have gone on a I might have looked at more of his songs when this one first came out. I don't remember though. All right, the damage is there. I think our build has finally come together. And <laughs> as you guys know, it's always more fun when everybody comes together. So, as opposed to separately. Beg me for forgiveness. Holy shit. Wait, what is... What has happened? Um... Yeah, this one goes crazy. Good Beatles song? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot the Beatles did this one first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Beatles nailed this one with their rendition. <laughs> oh, oh. I assumed you were talking about the Beatles doing a uh, remix of this song, a version of this song. That would go crazy. 
Oh, I did not think he was going to live that long, not going to lie. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, this, this sounds like some of the Beatles stuff, for sure, for sure. Son is getting owned and couldn't be having more fun right now? Hell yeah. Having fun's the first step. And then, once you're having fun with it, then you'll want to get better at it, you know? Yeah, I should probably check out more of their songs, if I'm being honest. Bit off on guard for the 60s, but they gotta do what you gotta do, yeah. Yep. God damn. Defensive powerful is not a fun combination. Okay, good damage output. Yep, easy. Let's go! On to Gluttony! Do I know Ultra Kill? I don't think so, no. I don't think so. Sorry, the group chat's going crazy right now. All right. Uh, independent fortunes run for fun. I got paranormal and flesh and bones. All the enemies got bonus and now die in one hit. No, I haven't done that. That's crazy though, Karma. It's a video game with a killer soundtrack. Yeah, I don't think I've even heard of it. All right, Gluttony, you big fucker. Maybe one of the least fun boss fights in the game. The love is killing me, and I'm the only one. It's not over. Oh, we're fucking tickling right now. Oh, 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 but, uh, well, we're getting hit by that. I thought he was going to do the suck. He did, in fact, not do the suck. God damn, bro. Chill. What is going on? Now he's gonna suck, right? Okay. Oh, I jumped too early. Interesting.
such an annoying fight. Yeah, I agree, Penguino. I would like to do that as well. All right. Reincarnation 2, done. Oops, I did not mean to fast forward that song. I was just trying to scroll down. Oh, well. Happens to the best of us. All right, get all the soul essence, and let's figure out our R3 plan. 